All right, so we're here at the Newport International Boat Show here in uh, Newport, Rhode Island. And we're today we're looking at, uh, before the show starts, looking at a custom yacht that has shown up here. Uh, so it was built locally uh, by a company called Carbon Ocean. And we're starting off looking forward because I want to draw your attention to the large Nacelle wave piercing uh, part of the hull that's underneath the bridge deck. And we'll walk down the dock. This is like a sort of a gunboat Shoning style uh, catamaran, a really high performance yacht. It was custom built here, so you know, custom paint, custom layout, everything. It's a 50 footer. And looking at the transom, here you see it has, uh, well, first off, if you look underneath the water, you'll see the T-foils on the rudder. So it's designed to be semi-foiling, give the boat a bit of lift. The rudder is also retractable, so you can pull it up, adjust the height of the rudder. You have your life raft on the stern. And the way the boat is steered is that it's actually tiller, uh, one tiller, uh, another tiller there and they're linked together with this uh, cross beam and it also goes forward on you'll see on the inside that there's a wheel as well these hatches are access to the engine room Dyneema lifelines of course to minimize weight and yep boat has a traveler uh, you know you've got to have a traveler on a performance cat The aft uh, cockpit section, you have uh, seating uh, round table here. And much like a katana, you'll notice all of the lines go down underneath the bridge deck and then they pop up uh, back in the cockpit. You know, one thing I noticed about this boat is that I said, much like a Shuttleworth, it's all curved. I don't think there's a single flat surface anywhere on the exterior of this boat. Must have been a pain in the butt to build, <laughs> that's for sure. But got a big solar array here. There's another solar array on the other side. Uh, this, this shroud, well, judging from the terminal, it must be Kevlar. Uh, and it's got an adjustable, yeah, it's got Dyneema down there so you can adjust it huge uh, curved curved dagger board. There's no T-foil on the bottom. It's just a, a C a C-shaped dagger board. Big Longeron with a, a rolling roller furling Geneker and a head sail and stay sail. The mast on this boat is a uh, touch under 70 feet. And of course, it's a carbon rotating wing mast. I'll go forward to, uh, you can see the actual gear that allows it to rotate. The architect on this boat is a guy by the name of Dirk Kramer. I've never heard of him before, so I guess he must be newer to the catamaran world, but um, uh, this is that's who was chosen to design the boat. And we will go inside now. All right, heading inside. This boat is a four cabin layout. We'll, we'll go into the hull shortly, but first in the salon, there's the aforementioned wheel, like I uh, previously said. Again, the wheel has a goes back to the crossbar underneath the boat, so you can steer from both inside and outside. And although this 
uh, interior does look rather wood heavy. If you actually knock on it, you'll realize it's all honey. It's all honeycomb uh, cord. In fact, look under here. You can see the carbon fiber. So looks can be deceiving. Uh, you know, coring your furniture is pretty standard practice on performance cats these days. So we've got an L-shaped seating area in back of me, your interior helm station, and you've got steps leading up to this uh, big latched watertight door. So you can actually go, you don't have to go on the side decks. You can climb through the cockpit onto the foredeck if you're in particularly rough weather. Nice big galley, induction burner stove. And it's not to say that this boat is lacking creature comforts. It has AC, it has a water maker. It's actually a four cabin. So the owner, whoever it is, and was nice enough to let them enter the boat into the show, uh, I guess he presumes to cruise with a fair number of guests. Four cabin, two head. This is a privately owned boat, so uh, I, won't, I won't open any cabinets or anything like that. The interior is pretty plain, mostly raw glass, more cord uh, plywood furniture, but uh, the uh, top and tops and bottom is finished with a suede. Escape hatch in the wet head. And the water maker is up here. This, this room is the kids' room, has the bunk bed. I'll climb into here, not just to give you a peek at the water maker, but also if the lighting is good enough. Uh, I suppose it's not, but you can actually see the carbon fiber uh, from the interior of the water maker compartment. Looks really cool. Water maker is a Spectra. This boat is not for sale. However, uh, the yard that built it did enter it into the show since they still have the tooling. So uh, they are soliciting orders. So if you wanted a boat like this, you could certainly have it built. Reminds me a lot of Shooting Star, the other uh, very high performance uh, catamaran we did a couple years ago, which ironically is also still for sale. I guess that just shows how difficult it is to sell these sort of race boats. That said, this boat would do really well in the Caribbean uh, Regatta Heineken St. Martin multi-hole challenge. Don't know if the owner is you know, planning to campaign it at all or if he just wants a fast boat for his personal use, but. So that is the Carbon Ocean 50, a really unique boat that showed up here somewhat unexpectedly at the Newport International Boat Show, but we're always here to look at things that are unique and fresh, and this definitely fits the bill. Again, I'll add in at the end, actual performance. Uh, they've achieved up to 27 knots. So, and I don't think they've even fully pushed the boat to its limit, but that just goes to show what this is uh, capable of. Oh, and one final note on the construction, the coring material is core cell. So carbon fiber core cell would be the uh, makeup of the lamination schedule. All right, so as always, thank you for uh, joining us. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Leave a comment. If you have any questions, uh, drop me a line. My contact info is in the description. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one.